Today we will look at which strategies that are strong but not as widely used. Starting with quad quick witches. First of all we will quad quick the base open. Then we will deploy a few witches on both of the sides. And since there is a mortar we will deploy one valkyrie. Then the heroes from the middle, the siege barrack as well. And yeah, all the remaining witches. They will make their way in and we do not necessarily lead wall breakers in this strategy. We will preserve the warden ability for a little bit and trigger it when the troops are in the middle. The CC has been lured so we will poison that. We have a heal spell in this one but you can swap that out with the free spells. Also this strategy works the best when there are single target inferno towers. The hogs from the CC are out and they are helping but if you don't want to carry hogs then you can also use healers or even more witches inside the clan castle. Try to deal with the enemy heroes when you enter the base. If you can do that, then picking one inferno tower as you enter can be another good option. Now in this case we have picked up all the major defenses other than this inferno tower. There are enough skellies in the ground so we don't have to worry about that. The heroes are down but the witches will carry this attack to the third star. Using a siege barrack is the best option in my opinion but if you don't have got access to that then a wall wallraker might work. With that you can also dump troops in the middle of the base. Like if you are carrying healers inside of it. Now we can attack this base. This time we have a wall wallraker. The approach will be the same. First we will open up a way. Then deploy the witches on both of the sides. And then this time we will start with the wall wallraker. And after that all the remaining things. We have an electro dragon in the enemy clan castle. So we will need to poison that. And also freeze. We will raise the troops. Because this time we are only using 4 earthquake spells. So we have extra spell slots. So that we will pop the warden ability first. And we have a P.E.K.K.A from the clan castle so we will need to freeze the single infernos from time to time. Although it's not necessary because there are a lot of skeletons and even if the P.E.K.K.A dies the skellies will overwhelm this base. But I would like the P.E.K.K.A to survive. So we will keep on freezing the inferno towers until we run out of free spells. And by this point we usually end up taking a lot of the base down so it is not likely that the base can survive. But we still have the queen ability. We might pop that to save some time. But the single target is currently standing so we might need it there. And look at the number of skeletons on the top. The strategy really overwhelms the base. Now we will go to the second strategy. But before that let's accept some of the friend request. Today we have got V Leo, Shison, Ace Ryan, Rovinio, Infinity GG. Now we will be doing Bat Slap Witches. No, that's the wrong composition. Okay, we will try. Still, this is how you do it. We're gonna deploy the golems, make them away, the witches, log launcher, and finally the heroes. We definitely do not have enough freezes, but we'll try. We have done everything else, so now it's time to deploy the bats. The free spells might be a problem. We only have two of them remaining, and one will be used right here. And the second one as well, and that's it. We are out of freezes. And the wizard tower will just annihilate the bats. But some of them still survived. Somehow we will connect. But let's do another attack. This time we will attack this town hall 12. The approach will be the same. We will deploy the golems. A super wall breaker to make a way. On this side the golem get passed through. And the middle path will be made by the log launcher. We will pop the king ability and the warden ability. The clan castle has the electro dragon. So we will need to poison that and I don't want to infest any freeze in that but it's time to deploy the bats. We will also reach the bowlers from the log launcher and they should do pretty much good damage. We will keep on freezing until we run out of it and it is not a good idea to charge your bats to the town hall especially when you can fire back because town halls that can fire back have really high HP and engaging that with the bats usually end up costing a lot of free spells. But since we have cleared everything else other than this back and wizard tower, it's fine. The bats will die out, but we still have got a few troops. We'll deploy the remaining archers on that bottom side to make the things faster and pop this queen ability later to take out all the remaining defenses. By the looks of it we can even swag it, but I would like to use it and take this base down with more than a minute remaining. Now if you want to see more Downhall 11 strong witch strategies, with them you can pretty much 3 store any Downhall 11. Like this video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one, bye then. AGC9 V Frozen 
I am Ayush721. Dan and Matthew12. Thank you for sending me the friend request. And if you would like to do the same, then this is my priority.